One word, one word to sum up your experience. One word to sum up your experience. Of what I bet. What does that mean? And then English, because it's what I do. Show me the ball. Shut up for my guys in Paris. Bang, bang. Let's go. Can't really have this, you know. My guy, Desi Des. Nick. Oh, my guy over here, Michelle. Dwight Corker. I know what they're 2 4. London, running back slash DB. At real hot step over the pair right here. <laughs> Will it? <laughs> Will it? <laughs> so it's from London, as I said, North London, North side. I'm Dorian. I'm from uh, Daytona Beach, Florida. And I'm a wide receiver. I'm Bryce, wide receiver from Paris. I'm from St. Charles. I'm from St. Louis. You know, Midwest. Midwest cat out here. Uh, Pots Town, man. Living, you know, by Philly. You know, you know, I'm stepping up to the center. <laughs> Something like USA. USA. You like to do that, man. You got to do that. It's just USA. That's it. It's just USA. USA. I mean, it is USA. 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 Every time you get a chance and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! So, guys, what do you guys think of Germany so far, man? It's a peaceful and beautiful country. Very, uh, and that's all you have to say. Peaceful, beautiful, peaceful, beautiful, peaceful for sure. Organized, mm -hmm. um, slightly organized. <laughs> I say colder here, like it gets hot, but back at home, it's basically always hot, so I'm pretty used to it. But what's different is like the AC, they don't have air conditioning here, so in the summer, <laughs> when you're hot, you're hot, like you're sweating. <clears throat> There's no central air, so that's different for me. The food here is different. I feel like it's more fresh. They got good donors. <laughs> oh man, can't you can't forget about the, uh, uh, kebabs in Hamburg? They say kebab. <laughs> you know, they don't say kebab. They say kebab. It's just very different. You know what I mean? Well, I would say personally, um, biggest difference from London, or well, a lot of differences from London. Firstly, like. These lot close the shops on Sundays and all that. That makes no sense to me. You need to grab some sort of snacks or something, or you know, you might have to pre-get it at some point. Everything's also a bit more like, you know, in order, if that makes any sense. Like, don't get me wrong, order's good and that, but like, people really, you know, everything is very follow the rules, just, you know, do as you're told, or as, as, that's how I, like, perceive it anyway. I, they have a very good discipline, you know, if I can tell. Very, very good discipline. After that, like, it's a close country, the Paris and, uh, you know, like, France and uh, Germany, so, you know, a lot different so, after that. Yeah. How was, like, the first week in Germany, how was it? Do you remember it? Like, was it different? I've been in another country, another continent, like, another continent, like, how was the whole experience? Well, of course, came, it was just weird seeing all types of words that's not written in English. You know what I mean? So it just looks crazy at first. You could definitely feel like you're in a whole new world. You know, like first word coming. Uh, uh, just like, like right when I came in, the first, in fact, the first store I saw was uh, Raven, which is not too far from me. I call it Re Week because uh, uh, that's what you see in English. Like, you know what I mean? That's how you would say it in English. She said, we, we. You know, I've been saying we, we for a long time until like, about the, the, uh, like in the last year when they said, no, it's called a raver. You know what I mean? I'm like, what? It's we, we, man. That's our plan. You know what I mean? Like, but no. Nah. So I, uh, like getting accustomed to that, that's like one of the first things, uh, seeing that stuff like coming over here, then like first meeting people, how the people are, how they interact. Uh, it, was just, it was just different, you know. It was just like yeah. different world. Everything was just like more organized. And also, when you go there, like when I went to the store, Raven, I'm so used to bags getting put in. That's groceries. Mm -hmm. I had to pack my um my own groceries and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, it's different. <laughs> and, um, I get it, but there's there's other stuff that's close to the country. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool too, so. How about you, Nick Desi? Mm -hmm. I was your like when you first came to Germany, when you first flew out here. You know, New country, new continent. Once again, like how, like, how did it feel? Like, felt so very different. Like, <clears throat> I was in a whole new alien world. Another like, <laughs> words were in English. You can't read nothing. Like, the buildings are different out here. The the streets are different. They're very small. The cars are different. Yeah. Like, the food is different. There's no 
you know, fast food chains all the way down the street. There's just a lot of like home dump spots, like in, in grocery stores. Mm -hmm. But it, when I go where it looks like the movies at first, man, like the buildings look like the movies from what I've seen. <laughs> yeah. It was just different, but it was, you know, a cool, uh, cool yeah. experience to see how other people live on the other side of the world. Yeah. Might as well tell us where you guys have paid before and how long you paid for and your positions. I played college ball at the Missouri Valley University in Albany. I was there for five years. I played strong safety and free safety. And uh, it was a great time. Funnest time, one of the funnest times of my life. In your life, really? Yeah, it was great. How was before that? Before that, I went to uh, Friends High High School. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to three years because I was homeschooled. I only played my senior season because of eligibility. And uh, played safety. Got a scholarship off that one year. And now we're here. Well, you both quite good for me. Obviously, quite an enjoyable experience. It's a shame we didn't get to win a natty during the experience, but um, all over I feel like it was a nice, like, obviously I was playing ball already before that, so it was just a calm little platform there. But um, uni ball is fun as hell, and obviously it keeps you in shape during the season, that's the way I got to Oh, half the show, half the show, Hurricanes, running back, UH, you know. But um, yeah, man, it was just a calm experience, running back, number six out there, you know. What's the highlights you see, man? Well, I played uh, college ball at Missouri Valley College in the middle of nowhere. It was nice. I did a pretty, mm -hmm. some pretty good things in my career. I don't really speak a lot about myself, but I was pretty good, if you ask me. Yeah, you know, nice. I miss it. How about you, Mr. Michelle Light? <laughs> I don't know. He's the comedian over there. I miss how? how? Well, I can <laughs> You know, yeah, guys, not good guys, you're not, <laughs> not good. That's his English accent part of Listen, this guy is hilarious, by the way. <laughs> he is, man, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I got more impersonations, but that is the main one. That was the main <laughs> line when he first came in. Um, I went to Delaware Valley University. Where's that? That is in a town called Doyle's Town. It's in Pennsylvania. All right, let's go D3, football, powerhouse though, you know. Uh, play outside linebacker and defensive end. Got to get to that quarterback, you know what I mean? Simple as that. So you're pretty dominant, then. Pretty, pretty aggressive. I mean, you pay the trick chances, you know, used to, you know, always hitting guys. You're basically a hunter. You know, see how's that? A hunter, you know? No hunter X, hunter. Yeah, yeah. Right. Still, yeah. That's dark side. Yeah, dark side. That's what we do. Right. No. Both of them are defensive players here, so you know. You know what, what I mean? It, it's, look, you see the shade coming around because we're around here. <laughs> Not looking too good, but y'all like the big old. The big <laughs> old. <laughs> hey, you come, listen, you be around us long enough, you be dark side too. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll change that whole mindset, your whole mind frame. Uh, I play in Paris. Like since I uh, division three, I've been division two and one. And after I go like like the competition no was like crazy crazy, so I try to look like the high level possible. I can play and I can play in college, it's too hard, you know, paper, everything, the level two. So I look for Germany. I heard good things about Germany uh, for some for, from my friends. And uh, yeah, I try to send my tail for the coach and uh, the Dusseldorf Panther coach pick me up and uh, I go there, I have a pretty good season, JFL2. And um, last year I played in Dresden, Monarch Dresden, Division 1 in Germany, JFL1. <laughs> and uh, that was cool. And this year I also played in Paladin in JFL2. What would you guys say the level of JFL is? How do you find the level? What do you guys think of the level? So far I've been over here in Europe. Mm -hmm. Some competition wise? Yeah. I think Germany is the top level as far as this. As far as overseas wise. Yeah, overseas wise. It's, it's top. one of the top levels. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they be having some, some very good Americans over here. Yeah. Uh, very, very competitive. There's, there's people, there's like regular Germans that's pretty good as well, too. Yeah. So, uh, we in the Champions League. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Danny is the quarterback for the Pound Eagles. Uh, he played here the year before, too, as well. So he was already familiar with the organization, and he hit me up and asked me if I wanted to come, and I was pretty much like, yeah. And that's how I got here. It was a quick process, actually. Me personally, you know, obviously, I was thinking about playing in Europe for quite a while now. Obviously, there was a few situations here and there, but I really wanted to find out the right fit. <clears throat> so, naturally, obviously, I had already had boys who played, like, overseas, Finland, Germany, elsewhere. So, really, I was like, all right, let me try and evaluate as much potential options as I could get. And then, you know, take with the best one for me personally, innit? So, one of my boys, X, shout X, you know, back at Blitz doing this thing. But, um, obviously, he put me in contact with the Paladins at the time. Like, he was doing the thing out there. He put me in contact with the head coach, who, you know, unfortunately isn't with us at the moment anymore. But, um, you know, he put me in contact with that. And, uh, you know, we finally got in there. And, uh, yeah, decided it looked, it looked like the right place for me. Input seemed cool. Already the master that signed. So I was like, you know, let's come, let's get it, see what's happening. What's for sure, like, how did your journey begin from college to Germany? Like, how did how did the football start? How did you know about football in Germany? Well, I first I first knew about football in Germany. I got an offer because uh-huh. doing uh, like little camps. I did try to you know try to see a film, but I also did a little camp for like Euros when they talk about oh, this is like stuff you can really do for like overseas. Mm-hmm. So I did that. It was part of the, also the CFL deal too. Uh, CFL camp, but uh, did that, and then I you know I got a call from, or well, I got a message from on Facebook from at the time Potsdam Royals, who was in the fight at the third league at the time, mm-hmm. gave me the offer while I was in college. However, I wanted to graduate. One of my people go ahead and see me graduate from school, yeah. so I ain't, I ain't go ahead and take it. Took a two year break off, everything like that, just working. Then I got a random message also from my quarterback right now, mm-hmm. uh, Danny Farley, uh, a quarterback for Pilot is, uh, just said, hey, you, sh- you still want to play? Still want to play? I said, you know, I thought about it. I was curious. I, I had a lot going on at the time. I said, I, you know, um, I mean, I- I'm thinking about it. You know, go ahead and see. Well, let me go ahead and put you into my coach and go ahead and see how you feel about it. So then, you know, I said, uh, I talked to the coach who was Kevin Conrad at the time. We talked, we spoke about it. And I was just like, I was, I was trying to buy into it, so I bought into it. And then that's when I first went, decided to go ahead and come over to Germany. So. Playing in college, um, there were actually two guys that went to my school. They ended up coming over here and playing in Germany, uh, Mike Hall and Tyler Davis. Tyler Davis actually the leading GFL all-time receiver, receiving yards. Yeah. So <clears throat> he played at my school, and um, so we knew – I think third year there that you could come over to Germany and they had like the next best competition worldwide other than the States and uh, Canada. So we knew it was an option, but I didn't really know like too much about it. I hadn't talked to nobody over here or anything. So then uh, my last year, I played in uh, uh, the D1AA Senior Bowl in uh, South Carolina and uh, they had scouts there. And uh, my DB coach there who played in the NFL, uh, he had... Uh, do some catch over here, so he was just reassuring me, like, hey, it's another option. You can go over there, you know, if you want to. Um, GFO 1 or GFO 2, like, those are the top two leagues over there that have some decent competition. So I was like, all right, cool. Um, but after I graduated, uh, I um, actually went and played for a team over in the States uh, in the GDFL uh, on the Thunder. And after that, um, me and Dorn, actually, the team right here, went to the same, went to the same college. So he had got an offer from uh, the quarterback here, Danny, actually called him and hit him up when I decided. And so they said he was looking for a safety too, and uh, sent him on film, and uh, that was kind of basically it after that. I, I came over here and started balling with the big O. Big O! And then to the rule, the rule, the rule on trolls. <laughs> nah, man. Hey, I'm A. Hey, I'm A. Hey. I ain't captain of the yacht, I'm just on the boat. That's all I am, bro. You know what I mean? That's just enough to you. Um, <laughs> Honestly, we'll keep that for another day, another day. Hey, yo. So I have a question. So who do you, who do you guys support? Oh, we, we both know. Saints fans. Saints fans. Saints fans. Who that nation, you heard? Yeah. Who that said they're going to beat them Saints? Oh, when them Saints, oh, when the Saints. Come marching in, come marching in. Oh, when the Saints, come marching in. 
Oh, I know what it is, man. To be the that number when the saints come marching in. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. So if you guys, if you guys are right now, the NFL team was to offer you guys a contract, what NFL team would you go to? You know, the Saints or the Rams, LA. I go to LA. Why LA? It's it's LA. The LA hockey. Man. It's not LA hockey. It does, it's it does, LA. It does another team. <laughs> it's LA. It does another team besides that. Mm-hmm. Like historically, I probably, I probably like to go ahead and go in Green Bay just to see how I'll be at Lambeau Field. Cheese head. It's cold up there, man. Cold as shit. It is cold, man, man but it's historic. I will go to the beach, you know what I mean? LA, nice vibes. <laughs> nice vibes, nice beach. The West Coast style. Nice right? women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, those two guys know all about that, man. This guy. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You know? So, you yeah. know. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> Get out two cents, not two nickels to rub together. Oh my goodness. Question for both of you. Is the food better in America or Germany? Let me. Did you, you go first? Before we dive into this. Okay. Let's say this. Okay. All right. I'm going to let go. America definitely has Germany beat. When it comes to variations and variety of foods you can get. And taste. And taste. We have endless amount of that. Okay, over here, mm-hmm. I would say they have less variations, but their food is a little bit more cleaner. I would say their meats are a little bit more cleaner than ours. You know, we have a lot of processed bullshit that gets put no on No shots in it. No shots and shit. Steroids, but, all that. But, like, as far as, like, taste and, like, the wide range of variety of foods, America definitely has to eat. You know? But, like, as far as, like, just clean no pesticides and stuff like that in their animals and stuff like that. They have they have healthier meats for sure. <laughs> no, 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 don't be shy. Don't be shy. I'm saying I'm talking there. I'm talking about it now. I think the food in America is better. Mm-hmm. However, the like how there's nothing also in the food here. And how it's healthier here. They eat better here. And um, that's why we they don't have to go through as much stuff as we do back in America. Yeah, I as far as, you know, uh, play, plenty of stuff. Diabetes, I don't think people see diabetes. But I mean, 85 year old women yeah. walking around yeah. with they with they rollers just walking down the street here, like everywhere. Like, like, you don't see that yeah. at home at all. You don't see that. You don't see high like, blood pressure, cholesterol, all yeah. that. Like, you, you tell them it's way more, it's better to eat mm-hmm. over here. So, but it's better food over there. When you go back home, what's the food you'll take back with you? Donut, easy. Some donut, bro. Yeah, yeah probably the donut. Donut, the donut's are fire. That's no fire. No, Me is more juice. Home, bro. Bro. Yeah, juice for me. Juice. They, they mix that donut with the chips in that box there. That's the sauces. What? Yeah. Because we have this in Paris, so it's cool, but the juice, they have some juice, like, pretty cool. If you had to take one food from Germany to America, what food did you take? Donut. Yeah, donut, baby. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about, listen, man. It's nothing like a palm donut. I'm trying to tell you. It's nothing like a palm donut. It really isn't. I literally, when I first came here and they first introduced me to that, I was ready to get that for a whole two weeks. You was getting two yeah. and eight. I'm telling you, two man. Two day. It's real. It's real, man. It's real, man. You first came over Get here. yourself. Yeah. You come over here or if you go ahead and you see a donor spot, go ahead and get you a palm donor or just get you a regular K bomb uh, or how hamburgers or a K bomb. Or a Durham. Oh, yeah, or a Durham. Durham. Oh my goodness gracious. You're talking about lamb meat, chicken, and beef. Mm. All right? You can go ahead and mix it all together. All right, you want. Then you go ahead and get the nice sauces, mm. whatever you want in it. Tatsiki. You're talking about chili, uh-huh. cocktail. Cocktail. Listen. Some of y'all might not know what the sauces is. But put it on. Put it on there. Put it on there. You're going to like guarantee it. guarantee you. you know like, oh, man, I remember them guys were talking about this. Yeah, this thing is good. I appreciate you, fellas. I, I appreciate you, I, I definitely vouch for them. You know, the Pum Dunners, the Durham's, and Germany are fire. Fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> <laughs>
Trust yeah. me, wherever you guys are, if you guys are watching this, I would definitely fly to Germany just to get Pumduna or Odura. Gross. Gross, basically. Gross. Gross. That's big. Gross. That's big. big. Rich didn't get a big one. Fine, right. right. that's small. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Pumduna, gross. And it's 350 euros. Only 350. Some back at home, man, that'd be about like six dollars. Damn. You know what I mean? Damn. So you gotta appreciate something like that, man. Damn, man. You gotta appreciate it, man. For sure. 100%. You want me to, uh... So what do you guys think of like the whole input life? I mean, let me not lie to you, input life for me is a little bit like living at uni. Basically. Basically, or, or you know, back home. But uh, what I would say is obviously yeah. you're chilling with guys that you know, you, you get along with, blah blah blah. But um, obviously, the focus is football. At the same time, obviously, you're in a different country as well, you know what I mean? So you want to really take in all of that, understand the culture, learn as much as you can, like, just kind of broaden your horizon, should we say, and just make yourself more of, you know, a cerebral type of guy. I mean, it's kind of like a college football game, only you don't have classes. <laughs> you just have training in football, you get with all the guys, you know, you get to have pretty much fun, do a little bit more than I would say in college because you don't have the classes, you know. Yeah. And you just and most free time. It's pretty first one now, so you just have football and work out and free time with the guys. So it's nice, you know. I pretty much agree with what you said. It's basically like being in college, honestly, just not going to class every day. You're just in another country, just learning like a lot of culture, seeing a lot of different architecture, different language, different people with a different social setting. It's a lot different. But it's very nice overall. Yeah, from Paris is different too. Like it's not the same system, it's not the same organization from Malaysia or two years ago is very different, you know, like every team have different organization, you know. So the coach too. So yeah, you just have to be like have a good uh, if I can say adaptation, you know, for every year or every time. Yeah. It's good life, you know. Basically, yeah. you know, back back at home it's like you on vacation. You know what I mean? You're you, you doing what you love to do. You're playing football, you know, you, you're lifting. Um, going out and just, you know, enjoying your life. You know, the, uh, traveling. You know, I'll say too, because I think we did a bunch of traveling when we was out here as well, too. So yeah. when you're out here, you go travel, you go ahead and see the world. That's one thing I'll go ahead and say. Is if you're an import, you're over here to take advantage of traveling. Yeah. Go and travel. And see yourself, because it's easier to go ahead and um, get the place to place. Uh, over here, it might be Europe. It's cheaper than America. Yeah, than America. Yeah. It's way cheaper over here. Like flights over here, are forty, fifty, sixty dollars. Yeah. You know, like bus tickets, thirty, six, seven, like forty dollars. Take it to one of the countries. Go to the UK. Says about fifteen euros. Yeah, like one million, about fifteen, fifteen dollars. Yeah. Got a bus to Amsterdam for thirty-six dollars. There and back. That's over there. There and back for like thirty-six dollars. Travel, traveling around Europe is definitely cheap. Yeah, yeah. definitely cheap. Yeah. That's very nice. I feel like. Yeah. So I like I uh, uh, I say like the. It's nice because the culture is different. You can like uh, know about like the US, UK, and uh, the German. So that's oh, that's great. You pick up on a lot of things. Like you learn a lot about other like cultures, like how people live, how they talk, like words they say. And, like some of it sticks with you, some of it doesn't. But it's nice. Like I've already been living with people from other countries because back in my college, everybody's from everywhere. So it's familiar to me. So if you guys have to say one memory you remembered and this journey in Germany, what is the memory? I think we all know one for sure, but... Um... <laughs> I don't think that's for the camera, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> that's why I'm not going to say it. Hey, that's for the camera, you know? No, no, no. no. It's more seeing how inspired people are out here about like football. You wouldn't think that, of course, because like mm-hmm. soccer is the dominant sport out here mm-hmm. yeah. and everything like that. But the people that do actually love football, they love it. You know? mm-hmm. So like mm-hmm. engaging with people like that, the fans and everything like that, I say you would is like one of the most mm-hmm. memorable things I always would remember and everything like that. How they appreciate you and everything. Yeah, I, I second that too because fans are really active over here and mm-hmm. they're really. Very supportive. very supportive, you know, and we give you a high five after the game, yeah. and I see you. Take like, pictures. Take pictures with you, get your autographs, so yeah. very, that's definitely something I'll think I'll be interested in. Pretty nice. It's professional level, so mm-hmm. it just makes sense. It really just makes sense. I mean, football-wise, beating Lubeck, yeah. Denver beating the number one team, 
Um, Pirates, we lost by one point on the last play. They lost for two points. Those are two probably the best memorable games I have out here. It was just with the guys. I'd say the trip to Amsterdam or uh, or that uh, bus journey home from Rostov. The bus journey home from Rostov. You know, that's what's said. <laughs> they don't know what they don't know. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know what actually transpired. <laughs> so like living together? Oh, but that's early. Comedy shows. Yeah, so guys. It is a straight <laughs> comedy show, okay? Comedy show. This guy right here, Ali Bumbaye, the big O. Ali and Dwight. And Dwight. And Dwight. Oh, come hey. This shit is hilarious. By the it's way, movie, yeah. Every day. This high okay? talk. By the way. By the way. That's. If you hear, by the way, he's gonna say some funny ass shit or some dumb ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> what else? What are you other saying, bro? Don't say anything. By the oh, way, oh, we, we play, we play. That's the thing too. Oh, oh, when we out there yeah. playing like two K and stuff like that. I know uh, Bass might see this and stuff, man. But it's oh, boss, <laughs> you have to pass the ball, right? You know what I mean? Keep the bull. Keep the bull. Come on. Okay. You guys are not good. You guys are not good. Just know this. You got an individual. When my guy over here, Rashad, is leading on Mutu Combat. Oh, my God. This man bouncing all over the room, guys. God damn. You don't want to be in that room. Just know we don't want to be in that room. And he can't talk about it. He's ready to get his smacked. I don't get texted. Well, I, I don't get texted. I don't get smacked. You will have this guy <laughs> from downstairs. This is a four floor building. You will have from downstairs. Trust me. I don't get texted. <laughs> so, no, definitely with these guys. It's, it's, been, it's been very fun. It's a fun experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got, we got the London guys. We got a French guy in here. Yeah. We got the Americans, you know what I mean? So it's, America. it's a whole melting pot. Speaking of you know, that we we talk though, we're not gonna get into all that, but yeah. we're not gonna get into all that. The French guy soon, you know, he's coming back home, man. His English is funny. Yeah, what are you talking about, man? He's gonna tell you off the rip, my English is not too good. Come on, man. Puta. Puta. Who runs the house? This is my son. Okay. The big O. Right here. <laughs> Obviously, we guy. know that's what the truth is. This is my guy. The reason to come with the big O, you know, the reason why, you know, he's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't put too much in it, but you know. Did I run he shit? knows. No, 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 no. He's the boss here. He knows. He's like, I think he's the Because he's big. Yeah. His name is Ali. The big O. You see, he's little Des. The big old. Little Des. That's little Des. That's little Des. That's little Des over there. Look, this is his dream. This is his phone. Do you know why this is going on? He cares about a phone. That is Jack's his dream. Who's the messiest? Oh! We do not want to get to that. We do not want to get to that story. Do you want to see names that were thrown out? Names that were thrown out. I want to undoubtedly know names that were thrown out, bro. That's the band group that went up first. The Messiest. Messiest in front of the house. Probably me. After us, you Don't guys. get me started. After oh, us, my goodness. The Messiest. The Messiest, who's just messy. The one. Me, I think. I think you yeah. First, I have to ask Desi. Desi, who is the Messiest guy in the house? Oh, Why well, you ask me first, bro? DW. Or DC. 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 Just so you guys know, you guys already know who it is for me. But his name is Dwight. <laughs> that is oh, government Dwight. name. Dwight. He said, <laughs> he said, he said Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> that is his name. Dwight. That's his government name. There's only no, no time. No oh, nickname. No Dwight. Dwight. His name is just Dwight Cooker. Oh, okay, so what about that's you? Pick. What about you? Who's your pick for the uh, Mrs. Ah. and Mouse? He said, what? I just said it. Oh, the white. The white. The white. Well, I have to pick. Mm. Bro, this is a pretty tough, tough choice. But if I have to, you know, really deep, deep think about it, you know, it will have to be Mr. The white. Cock. The white. He's definitely the messiest in the house. <laughs> But we still love him, you know. He's still our little kid, you know. You know, we give him all the, all the toys, all the sweets. He's the young blood. You know, the young blood. He's still, still bringing him up, right? Yeah. Uh, 
goodness. Also, a couple more. Yeah, we'll get you. We'll get you. Normal question: How do you guys like your uh, German teammates? I like a lot. Of them. I like a lot. Of them. A lot of them are cool. Yeah, some 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 players. I think like if you're, it's for sure, there's gonna be a friend for life. Yeah. Just keep in touch every time. Oh, you know, yeah. like, if they come in Paris. I know for you it's more different because US is far. Yeah. But for Paris, if they visit me, that's for sure. I'm gonna be like talk to her or see her you know, like that, uh, after you know. Yeah, I make friends definitely that I want to know like past this experience too. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. One word. One word to sum up your experience. One word. One word to sum up your experience. Exhilarating. Wow. I say my word is different, but in a good way. En voilà belle. What does that mean? And in English, because show me the ball. It's been Import House, Solomon Hard Knocks. Sorry, we couldn't get y'all the full six month saga of this. Y'all be here. Little sneak peek, sneak peek finale, season finale. Final round. Fight. Shut up. <laughs> I don't think that's a good question. That's a setup. 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 That's a you know, I forgot my man, you know what I mean? Dang. So was just... You got him in the I forgot you, Yo, yo, you the interviewer. You ain't supposed to forget. Don't put that on you. This is a little kicking. So, so anyways, so that is the link. There's more. We have our resident comedian in the house, you know, trying to inject his date comedy. So we'll excuse that. What's the next question? Is that going to be killed? Huh? Is that going to be killed? Oh, obviously. You might as well let our comedian get some screen time. What's over? Yo. Don't talk to the scene, man. Yeah. You look like you're the resident comedian, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what I'm doing? You want the spotlight until the spotlight's there. Right? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> hey, nice hey Joe, you, Joe. Give us so far some questions, man. Joe, give us some questions. And leave this one in the bonus. Yes. So, um, for our comedian. Yeah, no, go, go. Uh, bro. <laughs> bro, I beat him so bad in the, in the last that match. He didn't play that bad. He wouldn't play. He wouldn't play me until the new match came out. <laughs>